Hi Taurus, Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your shift reading for the month of October. So collectively, we're shifting from Virgo into Libra energy, Virgo hermit energy, internal, inward looking energy, and now into Libra, which is more focused on connection and more focused on external um, mental energy, as well as finding balance because the tarot card for Libra is justice all right so we're looking at finding some sort of equilibrium now having been in an internal space we're now coming more external to find that balance so for you taurus <laughs> a really you know um well i'll get into that in a second but but essentially in this reading we are looking at the shift the shape that you're shifting out of in this season as we go into Libra season here and the, and the shape you're shifting into and then what that looks like and feels like. Okay, so something interesting here came through in your meditation. <laughs> this is so specific. You're sitting on a beach and all I saw was almost like um, an Instagram story view, like a, a cell phone camera of like your legs, you know, like if you're sitting and your legs are straight out and I just saw like the ocean, super calm, beautiful day at the beach, hardly anybody there. It's like idyllic, you know, it's this picturesque, beautiful thing. And you're like posting a story about like how awesome it is where you are. You are alone. That was very much the feeling, like how awesome it is that you're here and how good you feel or whatever. And then I saw the camera just go like mew. And that was the energy of it, just like the, the frame, the picture. You're taking this video and then it's just like the video camera just goes mew and like lands face first in the sand. And I kind of saw like at the same time the camera did that, it's like you did that. Like your energy was like, yeah, this is really great. But in reality, things feel more like mew, you know? So I'm like, I'm wondering if there's something going on in your life that it's like you you really want things to still feel good and you really want to like show that you're feeling good, but like something's happening that's just kind of like me, like power down, tank, tanking your energy a bit. Stick your head in the sand. Like that's kind of what I saw too, as you like a, like a bird or like a stork or something, just like sticking, not stork. Who sticks their head in the sand? I don't know, but you're just like sticking your head in the sand. <gasps> just being like, I kind of want to go back to, I want to go back to Virgo season. I want to go back to hermit mode, like screw this. I don't know, Taurus, what's going on with you, okay? So let's, um, let's pull cards, see if that meditation links up at all. So first we're gonna start with what shape you're shifting out of. What shape is Taurus shifting out of here? Okay, so we got the magician in reverse. I'll sh first I'll show it to you upright. Cool card, really cool card. This is coming through for you today because it's coming in reverse. You know, the magician is about taking action in your life. It's about um, actively creating in the earth plane, bringing ideas into physical form. You know, that is magic, is, is taking your intentions and manifesting them physically into form, into being, bringing something to life. And it's in reverse. And I'm kind of feeling like this has been a period of inaction maybe, or like overwhelm, because I'm, I'm being really drawn to all of the dots, all of these bubbles all around and how crowded the card is. And if you just kind of like squint your eyes and look at it, you'd never know there's a person there. <laughs> you know, it's just like, whoa, really crowded, a lot going on. Perhaps you've been too overwhelmed recently to actually like act take decisive action. And so you've been in this period of like inaction due to how crowded everything has been. Maybe that's why like, as soon as you get a moment alone on the beach, you just like, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, so what shape is Taurus shifting into in October?
Well, that's appropriate, isn't it? The Libra card, justice. Some form of balance, some form of equilibrium, coming into agreement on something, centering on a truth, centering on the truth. Things being in equal measure, finding equilibrium after this. It's also interesting because in this card, in The Magician, um, I see this as like, focus please, come on, not my face, the card. I gotta hide my face because the sensor, okay. Um, this is like muscle cells, you know, stri muscle so striations with like cellular activity within that. And that's drawing me to the body. You know, the body is always trying to find equilibrium and never is never achieving that. <laughs> you know, that's the beauty of it. You never quite achieve equilibrium. You're always like all life is striving towards it at all times and sometimes totally tipping the scales one way to one extreme or the other or just dancing around the line of equilibrium but never quite staying there even if you meet equilibrium then you go here then you go there then you know what i mean so there's some there is something about coming closer to equilibrium by the end of libra season perhaps so whatever has been like totally overwhelming in your life that's causing you to not be able to act on things to just be like uh, i can't Things are perhaps coming into more peace and equilibrium and balance, which may require you just like taking some time away, you know, based on the meditation that came through, taking some time away to just like collect your energy, be by yourself again. Maybe you've just been like socializing too much or just have had all of these like things to do on your agenda. It's just been too much. Okay. So then what does the shift look like from the magician reverse into justice for Taurus? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What's the path? Yeah, not mm. yeah. Okay, let me get this. Change, 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 change. Nine of coins. One more. Mm -hmm. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> Um, here's you being super tired. Nine of wands. Okay. This person is mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted and feeling the need to just like put themselves behind a ton of barriers so that nobody else can get in. Cause it's just like, stop it. <laughs> you know, it's just like, no, I've, I've been enduring enough. I'm in a bad mood now. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> I need a freaking break. This is all too much. And I think you're getting it. Very simply, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here bringing change, a, a, a changing of the tide, a turning of the tide, a shifting of the wheel here brings change and allows you to focus on yourself, Taurus. All right, nine of coins. This is totally independent energy. This is like you focusing on your money, you you as an entrepreneurial spirit here, really just like focusing on what you love, focusing on, on what brings you stability and joy and a sense of autonomy, you know? You getting some much needed solo time. That's what brings the balance. So this reading is like real simple so far, which is pretty awesome. Um, so I'm gonna get you a postcard from the liminal space, I think first. This other Oracle deck really wants to talk to you. But first let's get you a postcard from the liminal space. What's the advice for Taurus as they find some balance and equilibrium here, some alone time. What is the balance? Yeah. 
this is a spell. You know, this card is funny to me because um, all a spell is, is it's actually similar to magician energy. It is a focus of intention that manifests something. A focus of your energy that shifts the energy around you to make something happen in the in the physical world. And so it's like, where's your focus? Where has your focus been? There's something about social media that's important to this, is like feeling the need to show on social media all the cool stuff you're doing and how it, like everything is cool and everything is fine. When in reality, you're like exhausting yourself or you are exhausted by what's going on and there's this shift that needs to be made like in order to change the spell you if you want to change that you've got to shift the intention so maybe like take a social media break you know just to focus more on yourself on coming into alignment with yourself this is very much a question about what is your intention where are you focusing your energy? Because where you focus your energy, that's what's going to show up in your life. That's interesting. So let's let the illuminated earth speak to you because it clearly wants to. Okay. All right. What's the message here? The guidance for Taurus as they get more alone time, come into balance. Reincarnation. Come on, do it. There's a lot in this card. Definitely rebirth. Right? Reincarnation. Rebirth. Something about this tether. The umbilical cord. The umbilical cord is how a baby gets nutrients in the womb. I think it's about rebirthing yourself by nourishing yourself again. You need nourishment in order to be reborn. And look at the, the, the thick endometrial tissue that is cushioning this tiny little embryo that you are right now or that or maybe you, because we have the magician here, we have the spell, we have justice, we have nine of coins. Maybe there's something that you are like, and there was a question about where are you focusing your intention? Maybe there's something new that you're trying to give birth to, like a career thing or a project or a literal baby, I don't know. Maybe you're really trying to focus your intention to give birth to something new. And, and there's, this is just telling you that like you can't manifest this. You can't make bring this into being with all of this distraction all around you. You're exhausted because there's too much going on. You've got to narrow your focus. Narrow, see that? One thing this person is focused on rather than all of these things. Narrow your focus now. That's the shift. That's like the gear shift here is to narrow your focus so that this can actually get the nutrients it needs from you. Whether that's you, whether that's something outside of you, I don't know, you know, that's gonna resonate for everybody differently, but that's really interesting. That's, that's interesting here, Taurus, okay? So listen, I'm gonna continue to pull cards. If this is, is resonating for you, sorry, this reincarnation card is just like, talking, talking, talking to me. It's really sweet. Um, if this is resonating for you and you would like to follow me over onto an extended reading, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep pulling cards. I want to figure out specifically why the justice card is here besides talking about bringing things into balance. Um, there's, there's something more, some more information that wants to come through this. So I'm going to ask, what's this justice card about? What's going on in Libra season for you? What is it exactly that you are focusing on that you're trying to manifest? What are the things that are distracting you? Okay, so we're just going to keep pulling cards and see what comes out 
and then to see like what's next what is required to to have this rebirth um so if you're into that stick around there's going to be a little clip at the end of this video so that you can preview the extended and make sure it's still resonant for you and if it is and you want to watch it follow the link below onto patreon where you can view that extended reading um other ways you can support the channel if you're digging this work is to just like this video that helps so much to spread it around the youtube algorithm and also subscribe to my channel so that we can stay connected moving forward all right taurus thanks for tuning in i'll be talking to you through the month of october see you soon express your emotions here Express your frustration. I'm actually seeing this as built up anger, built up frustration, emotion that's not being expressed. That's just like turning you purple and blue because we got Scorpio down here, which is like ready to strike, ready to sting. It's like you're being pushed because you're having too much responsibility and you're freaking exhausted. You're being pushed to that point of stinger mode, stinger mode. You know, you Taurus, you know what I'm talking about. You're being pushed to that limit express your emotions before you get there express yourself express your needs to the people around you hey i need less work on my plate i need you to step up and help me with some of this responsibility like whatever that is express your emotions so that it's it doesn't build up and then come out as a stinger 